Now will you notice, he says, for in many things we all stumble. And I like that way of translating. And here it means in many ways, in many ways we all stumble. All of us do, for that matter. And there's no exception to that, by the way. And he goes on to say, but if any man offend not in word, the same is a perfect man. And that means he's a full-grown Christian where he should be as any baby growing up. When a baby's four years old, he's a little boy or a little girl, as the case may be. And when he's 21, why, he's ready to marry. The same as a perfect man and able also to bridle the whole body. In other words, if he can control his speech, he can control his entire body, in fact, his life. Now, in many ways, we all stumble. But remember, the tongue actually is the index of our lives. The tongue lifts man from the animal world. It keeps him from being a gibbering ape or an aping parrot. Man's not an inarticulate animal or a mockingbird. Man can put thought into words. He can express himself. He can understand. He can communicate on the highest level. The tongue is a badge that you and I wear, and it identifies us. It's the greatest index to life. It's the table of contents of our life. It's the fraternity pen of character. And it gives us a way. It tells who we are. Quite a few years ago, I was rushing with my wife and my little girl then. We'd been speaking out in Salt Lake City at a conference, and I was rushing to a conference in the San Francisco Bay Area. And I came over the high Sierras at Donner Pass, and I stopped at the little town there. Don't even know the name of it. On the side of the road at a filling station, and my wife and daughter got out to go to the comfort station, and I just stepped out of the car, and I said to a young man that came around from the back of the car, I said, fill her up. That's all I said. And as I looked out at those mountains and that lovely scenery, and there's still some snow about, why, I was conscious that he was eyeing me. And finally, I turned to him, looked at him, and smiled. He said to me, are you Dr. McGee? And I said, I sure am. Do I know you? And he said, no. I said, do you know me? Well, he says, no, I've never seen you before. Well, I said, how in the world did you know me? Well, he says, up here, especially during the winter time, when we're all snowed in, we listen to you every Sunday night, and we've been doing it for years. He said, I'd know that voice anywhere. Well, you see, my tongue gave me away. It still gives me away. I had the experience in the nation Israel in the Dan Carmel Hotel several years ago at Haifa and a couple. I noticed them eyeing me. I was talking to a friend in the lobby, and finally they came over and they said the same thing. Are you Dr. McGee? And I said, yes. And they said, well, we listen to you on the radio. Way out there, they recognized the speech. And you remember that little maid said to Simon Peter, thy speech betrayeth thee. He couldn't deny where he'd come from at all. And it tells who you are, your speech does. Your tongue gives you away. It tells where you came from. It tells whether you're ignorant or educated, cultured or crude, whether you're clean or unclean, whether you're vulgar or refined, whether you're a believer or a blasphemer, whether you're a Christian or a non-Christian, whether you're guilty or not guilty. May I say that I'm of the opinion that, that if we had a tape recorded message of everything you've said the past month, my friend, you wouldn't want the world to hear. 